Hello everyone, welcome to the world premiere of the UTS ALA production Spirit. Uh, should be a fun night, we uh, will be here for about you know 20 minutes or so and I do have a few fantastic guests here to help me launch this production. Uh, first up we have Charlie Hocroft. Uh, Charlie was a student, uh, a graduate from last year's cohort uh, she's worked at a couple of places now, I believe, uh, Flying Bark, and now is currently a junior layout artist at Animal Logic. Charlie, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to uh, show everyone what we've been working on. Fantastic. Yeah, should be fun. Uh, and we also have Art Director Felicity Coonan. Uh, Felicity is one of the founding members of Animal Logic, which is celebrating its 30th year uh, this year. She's worked on a range of movies and projects over her long career, uh, from Lego Ninjago movie, Peter Rabbit, the Lego movie, uh, Avengers Age of Ultron, Legend of the Guardians, Hours of the Hall, uh, Happy Feet and Happy Feet 2, just to name a few. Felicity, thank you very much for joining us. I'm very excited to be here for this world premiere and to see what the clever students have been up to. And um, nice to see you, Alex. I've, I've worked with you. And Charlie, I'm excited to be working with you now as well. Very happy That's to it. be here. Great. Thanks, Felicity. Um, so for those who don't know, Animal Logic is an award-winning animation house here in Sydney. Uh, uh, one of the oldest, actually, I believe, and they're turning out some incredible projects and the R Academy, uh, the UTS Animal Logic Academy, is actually a collaboration between Animal Logic and UTS. And we deliver a one year accelerated master's course in animation and visualization. Uh, we're set to sort of replicate industry and uh, you know, it's nine to five, five days a week. So the students learn by doing, uh, which Charlie can tell us about later. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of hard work. Uh, but we turn out some, uh, you know, really amazing pieces of, of, of work at the end of it, which spirit was one of them. Uh, last year, I think, Charlie Han, we had 45 students. Is that right? That's correct. Yep. Brilliant. And they all worked together to put, for, put through uh, spirit for us, um, which is amazing. Can't wait to show it to you. But before we get to that, I would like to introduce Associate Professor Christopher Lawrence uh, for the Acknowledgement of Country. And then after that, a few words by Zare Nabandian, the CEO of Animal Logic. I want to acknowledge the Gadigal people of the Eora Nations on whose land we meet today and pay our respects to their elders, both past and present. I want to thank Anaglendra Stubbs, Graham Davis King and Kathleen Buzzacott for all their hard work and all the cultural sharing and knowledge that they provided to this project, as well as their leadership. I want to also acknowledge that Indigenous Australians are the first scientists, technologists, engineers, architects, mathematicians and medical people. 65,000 years of STEM knowledge is why we're here today. And the SPIRIT project incorporates all these important knowledge systems that has been shared. And so I hope that you celebrate the hard work that the students have provided uh, in this project. And I wish you well. Hello and congratulations, Math Class of 2020. And what a year 2020 has been. But I'm so proud of you. Despite all the challenges of this year, you've come together as great teams, you've collaborated, and you've produced great work. And after all, Animalogic's philosophy is, and always has been, great work with great people. And I think that's been demonstrated in our partnership with UTS. UTS is such a progressive, industry-facing university and we've achieved a lot together. If you look at the awards won by the students and the academy over the last four years, but more importantly, the great careers that previous cohorts have been able to embark upon. It's really interesting if you look at this year and all the difficulties our industry has faced, amazingly, animation has powered on. And I think looking ahead, there's gonna be more and more opportunities for careers in animation visualization. So, as you celebrate, as you graduate, I know that you are going to be moving into great opportunities for the next chapter of your learning and your careers. I wish you great success and I hope that our paths will cross again soon. Congratulations. Welcome back. So, uh, it's a very exciting time to be in the industry nowadays. 
Um, and, you know, especially Animal Logic, 30 years, Felicity, hey. Amazing. Oh, yeah, it, it sounds like a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. So, I mean, over that period of time, I mean, it must, it must have been amazing to see the industry grow and change, especially here locally uh, in Australia. What's it been like for, for you and, and, and the people over at Animal? Uh, look, it's a, it's a brilliant time at the moment. Um, and in fact, you know, just just talking about the 30 years, it's a brilliant career to have. I mean, I'm not trying to sell the career per se, but I'm still completely engaged. I love it. And I think one of the reasons is um, because we're constantly facing new technical challenges um, and, you know, and new technologies. Um, and... I mean, it's about the people, isn't it, right? It's about building relationships. And I mean, some of the greatest films we've worked on um, with some of the best directors, you know, we started off a long time ago working with them in commercials, for example. Um, someone like Zack Snyder did, mm -hmm. um, he was doing commercials with us. Um, George Miller was doing, I did film titles with him even before Animal Logic. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, look, it's it's been great. I've worked as um, a visual effects supervisor, compositor, and now art director. I've also done a bit of work in film marketing, so I feel like I've seen it from all sides. But I must say, it's um, it's a particularly great time at the moment. The industry's booming. It's it's a brilliant time to to be employed. Yeah, absolutely. Well, where you know that's that's sort of you know a good thing for us and a good thing for the industry. And it's what we're trying to do as well is get our graduates out there. Um, and it seems like you're right. There's, there, there's a lot of opportunities now for, for the local talent to grow in Australia. Um, are you finding that you're getting a lot of the, you know, are you getting a lot of the juniors coming in through, through Animal? Yeah, um, we've got a few graduates from uh, the academy working with us at the moment. Um, as I mentioned before, Charlie is yeah. one of them. Um, but, I mean, I understand that the, a lot of graduates have gone to all kinds of places, from ILM to Flying Bark um, to Plastic Wax, you know, Future Associates, Fin Design. I mean, even the fact that I can name all of these companies now, and there's many more um, that are taking graduates, is, is a sign of the health of the industry. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, where the something that we try to sort of push in the in the our students over the year isn't just sort of developing their their artistic skills or their technical skills, but it's uh, we really give our students like an opportunity to to learn the soft skills, you know, of collaboration and feedback and you know feedback loops. All those things are so important for juniors to learn. I mean, Charlie, how did you how did you find that experience? I found uh, the transition from um, the studio to the Animal Logic studio and even Flying Bark, it's, uh, it's really smooth because it's exactly what I was expecting from the studio. But um, so there was a lot, of, a lot of soft skills that I learnt throughout the year that I just didn't have before the studio. So it was, um, it was, it helped a lot. Um, and it definitely helped me feel a lot more confident in, um, in the whole industry. <laughs> Great. I can imagine it could be daunting, Charlie, going from being a student to somewhere like Animal and, and meeting people who, I don't know, like me, who maybe who are long in the tooth and, and have been around for a long time. And what we expect is for people to be able to speak up, right, and to um, articulate their ideas and to be able to um, cop it on the chin when you know, we make suggestions that they might want to do something slightly differently. It's about, you know, they are the skills of collaboration, right? And particularly mm. with creative collaboration. So to have students kind of come along preloaded with, with that is, is highly valued. Mm. Um, look, absolutely. There was, um, uh, you know, Felicity, it's funny, we warned them at the beginning of the year um, that, you know, we're going to tell you to redo your work again and again. And, and we do, we give, them, we give them notes and redo the work. But I think, Charlie, you had a shot in layout. That was <laughs> how many iterations did we get you to redo that shot? Uh, I think it hit, I think it hit about 92 by the end there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that was shot PF60. I still remember it. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that. Forever. Hey, that's probably the shot that qualified you for Animal Logic. That ah, it perfectionism. was. <laughs> it was on my reel, so. Yeah. 
Yeah, look, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful <laughs> shot that one. I think, and look, I think it's worth all the effort, and it's all that's part of the skill set, isn't it, Felicity? You know, it's not just being good at your job, sorry, good at the artistic or technical skills, but it's being able to work on a team as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm I'm fond of saying, you know, no one person makes a movie, and no one person, you know, sinks the movie. Like, you know, you, you it is a highly collaborative business. So, you know, it's it's about communicating constantly um, with people. And it's not not only about ideas, but about, you know, processes and about, you know, technical pushes. And um, I mean, that's kind of at the core. It's the it's the connecting fiber of a production. And there are hundreds of people that work on our productions. And so, you know, to um, it's not only about communicating, it's about understanding where your role is in that process. It's about having the exposure to a pipeline and to understand what you're creating, how the impact of that downstream. Um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it's 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 such an important skill set to learn, but um, um, you know, what what did uh, everyone used to say in animals? The the cathedral builders. You know, oh, yeah. that was a George Miller quote. <laughs> said, George you know, Miller. even the people, you know, fixing the keyboards, we're all building cathedral. You're all cathedral builders. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's a rousing speech he made on Happy Feet, and no one's ever forgotten it. <laughs> no, no, I remember it well. Yeah. Um, so this this project, Spirit, was is is such an important story to tell. And and I don't know um, you know, if anyone remembers, but we, we had these, all these bushfires, you know, back at the beginning of last year before, you know, everything else took a different turn. And uh, it was really kind of present in, in sort of everyone's mind and it affected a lot of Australians. And it was a story that the students uh, really wanted to tell. Uh, so Charlie, can you tell us a little bit about that process of how you, you all sort of developed the story and, 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 and kind of took it on board? It's, um, it was a very collaborative process. We all put in our own ideas. We all uh, worked together um, to make the story happen. And we, we wanted to do something that was very now, very uh, related to us. So we wanted to do something very Australian and something very um, contemporary. And at that moment, we were all dealing with the effects of the bushfires. So we wanted to tell the story from our perspective, but also from the perspective of the uh, First Nations people. So we, we wanted to explore that kind of idea um, in our work. And we had a lot of fun um, conceptualising and creating that. So it, I think it shows that we had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I think, I think you all did such a good job, you know, and, it, and it's because we do replicate industry, you know, we follow the same pipeline. So there's an art department, storyboard, layout, animation, modeling, rigging, you know, all the way through, which is the similar to where there is an industry. And, and each of our students really kind of got a good view and, and did so much good work, uh, which by the way, if you do want to know more about our students who worked on this or, or anyone in that cohort, uh, there should be a link below that you can click on to get to our graduate uh, webpage. But um, Charlie's right, we did, um, you know, we, we collaborated with Auntie Glendra Stubbs, uh, who's here, um, a representative here at UTS, and also artist Graham King uh, as well. And, and, you know, they gave us a lot of insight into the mythology of, of wombats, of fires, of, of thylacines, and, and it was just such a sort of like wonderful learning experience for, for all of us. And, yeah. um, you know, yeah, just really, really exciting. I mean, I, I wanted to commend you guys too. I mean, you know, apart from the significant technical challenges you gave yourself taking on the beasts of fur and fire and plasma and smoke, um, you know, all up against a time time um, pressure, but to actually um, take, tackle something that's a meaningful story because at the end of the day, that's what we make. We make stories, right? And yeah. um, and and to actually dive in and explore our mythology and our culture is um, to be applauded. Absolutely, you know. I will look. Thank you, thank you, Felicity. <laughs> I, well, I just look. I loved working on it as well, and I think it's really important that we're not only sort of like developing uh, the next generation of of artists for for animation and film here in Australia, but we're also doing our best to tell these stories, you know, to tell the unknowns, the untold stories and, and develop, um, you know, these stories of, of First Nation peoples that, 
that not many people know about. And while ours isn't really a direct sort of story from that mythology, we were influenced, uh, uh, you know, by these stories and by the artwork as well. And actually, a, a, you know, a huge influence to us uh, is an artist in Central Australia called Kathleen Buzzacott. And she's just wonderful. And she does these beautiful dot, uh, dot drawings. And she spoke to us a few times over the year um, about the sort of mythology of dot, dot painting. And she then gave us permission to use her artwork uh, as a point of reference for the design of the trails of the, from the thylacine. So it was oh, just brilliant. amazing. Yeah. That's just brilliant to hear. That's so nice to hear that kind of collaboration. Yeah. I mean, and she was excited as well because it does get this out into the, sort of like the broader public too. And, and, you know, she was just such a, such a generous, you know, generous artist for us to, you know, to the students as, you know, as well, really, really wonderful. Um, so, uh, early on the year, we did get to, um, I did get to catch up with, with Kathleen and talk to her a bit about, uh, about the process, about what this meant for her and how she worked. Um, and so we're going to play that next. And then after that, we will show you the world premiere of Spirit. So Charlie, Felicity, thank you very, very much for joining us and helping us launch this. Thank you so much and congratulations to all involved. Very exciting. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Kathleen, so look, the, the students love talking to you about, um, about the project and, and seeing your work and hearing about the sort of stories and the influence of your work. Um, and so thanks so much for allowing them to do this. Can you talk a little bit about that engagement process as well with you and the students? Oh, yeah, it's been fun uh, talking with the students while they've been developing this little short film. I think it's really exciting that they actually wanted to include some First Nation people's artwork and a little bit of story in, in the short film. Uh, you know, I think that that's really good that they have an interest in things like this as well, because all of the native animals in Australia, they have stories as well. And um, to be in it was an honour to be involved in this as well, considering that uh, I'm not from wombat country. I'm here from, I'm from Central Australia, where there isn't any wombats around this area near Alice Springs. But um, to have some of my um, patterning and, and stuff actually in the short film, uh, I think it's going to be really exciting to see that. Fantastic. I look at they just they just loved it, and it's just so it's so great to see elements of 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 you know first nation you know patterning involved in this project and they they got so so much sort of education out of it as well about learning about like you know you get you talked a little bit about the history of your artwork as well and it was just a really good process that we're able to blend together you know sort of your your traditional art and and this you know 3d technological process it was it was great yeah i, can't, I just can't wait to see the final result yeah, brilliant well with that in mind, thank you so much, Kathleen, for, for joining us here today. That's my pleasure. And thank thank you. you. Brilliant. And thank you so much again for letting them use your work. So um, everybody, please sit back and enjoy this year's 3D animated short film, Spirit. <laughs> 